So guys, probably shouldn't be walking here, but the plan is um, we're gonna upright the tractor trailer empty by itself. Probably put two rows of these back on his trailer and then my the rest on my land all that's in route. Okay, because he has he has trucks coming for him. If for the for these? Yeah. Okay. Um your your other guy said that it'd be easier just to put it on his than to try and load it back on or put it on your guys's. Okay, so we'll probably do one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe five on yours. Okay. Three and then two on top, just so it's staggered nice. I'm gonna bring two trucks. That oh, you're not gonna put any on this? No. Okay. Yeah, this is going straight to the body shop, which I haven't yet. Okay. In that case, let me get in position for my truck on this side. Hey, I'm gonna need a. Uh, you have any paint for this? In the back. Okay. So we have to lift those up. They're gonna bring another truck. They're bringing two trucks. All right, good day, YouTube. They got us a super active scene. Pipes everywhere. Hector's already here. Um, hey Hector, that's a nice shirt. Thank you. You're supposed to say, yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. Let that's me move. Driver over there. It's a driver? The driver's okay, guys. We're here on the 103 at PCH. This is Long Beach. I'm gonna move my truck up ahead. J1022, the guy has two trailers in route for the load. 1022, J. All right, this is no joke, man. These pipes are a pain to deal with. I have a popular one I posted um, end of last year where all the pipes were still on the trailer strapped. And we managed to upright it like that, but when you do that, the integrity of the trailer is all messed up. It's hard to set them all flush because they set them with forklifts. So luckily this one, they're already completely off. So it'll make upriding this a lot easier. And that's the load. That time frame you think it might make. Now. This part right, right away, uh, we're gonna flip this easy. Right. That's hard. Yeah, it looks like- Cause you have to- it up you, have Exactly. To my other rotator is turning around right there, so we'll have one on each end. That's how you do it. Right. So just one at a time. I mean, we're quick, but yeah. well, five, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think I caught nine, because there's two back there. Okay. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 90 minutes to two hours. We'll work as fast as we can. Yeah, no, I, I, I no, no, we'll rush this bad. out. What I'm gonna do, first I gotta make sure that's not chained on because of the space here. I'm gonna put a deck winch right there. Oh. The deck winch is gonna go to that, mm, probably the top axle. Spike it over, catch it with the boom. Get this first. That should be good. You guys see all those containers? I always mention that when I'm in this area. This is Container City where we get so many of them. This is by the ports, one of the busiest ports. Awesome possum. We'll use this in between the duels. It's an eight footer grommet sling. Way more than enough. Ugh. This is beautiful. I love these things, man. So effortless. That part's done. Whew. Now, if you'll notice, I went to this D-ring instead of the other one to give myself more room, a better angle when I'm pulling.
Oh yeah. And then I can actually do my catch on the same one. This is my catch. So. The professor. How are you doing, sir? Alex rocking the new tank top. Right. You want to help me just attach my catch? I'm going to shoot it out to you. Thank you. Señor, ¿a cuánto pesan? Pesan cuatro mil. Cada uno. Cada, cada uno. Cuatro. Cuatro. Okay. No, no mucho, no Alex, mucho. about four thousand pounds each. No, four thousand seven hundred. So five. Four thousand seven hundred. So five thousand, yeah. run, give or take. Okay. Papita. Yeah, that way he takes it out of here and then you take you take this we'll we'll, we'll tag team it i'm gonna get through right here sir okay Thank you. thanks man <laughs> Auxiliary line snatch block. Okay. Trust me, Williams. I know. I have experience. Look at my shirt. Yeah, I know. Hi, Alex. Hello. I haven't seen you. Where you been? Is it? I seen you yesterday. Oh, that's right. Hey, you have the straps. Which straps? Like, I can put one in the hood. Got them right here, spider. Those are the good ones. Yeah, I know! Looks like you haven't taken off that shirt since you got it, huh? No, 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 you put it on here for you. Oh, it's brand new. It took a shower. Look. <laughs> Play with the cables as it comes over, and let out with that one, and go more in with the far side. You ready? Hector, you don't have to worry about the lift no more. Hector, drop it. It's a lot sloppier than I'm used to. Perfect. So now he's gonna tow this out of the way for us, and then we'll just tackle these uh, pipes one by one. Hey, 
from here, we're already in position. I think I would leave it tucked there with that outrigger like that, and I'm in the back. Uh -huh. Just grab hook on each one, on each end. On that little bar? No. No, right? The actual edge. Okay. That's how you do with the Omar ones. Okay. So you pick up one way, I pick up one way. And the guy will back up where this is, like this, one at a time. So just load him up, load him up. Where's that for at? Is that guy right there? All right. Yeah. Okay. We'll load him up uh, first. I think he's gonna go head in. I don't see him U turning anywhere over here, so he'll just come head in here, kiss my truck, and then from where we're at here, we can both reach and, and do the first row three at a time. There's no other way to hook up to these stupid pipes. See, here's the inside outer part. These things are all the steel right there. The grab hook will go right here. Right here, you can't live from. These walls are just here to protect this. And these things take a beating. I don't think this happened during the rollover because it's on the opposite side. I'd put in your outrigger before Hector takes off because knowing him, <laughs> knowing him, he's going to run over yeah. and puncture all those rear tires. Oh, you left it there. Hector, you just destroy this guy's axle. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. I already know. So what? But don't leave it there. And once this guy's out of the way, you'll stay right there. You can have your first guy come head in, head in to where the back of my truck is. Okay, yeah, I'll let him know. From there, my guy and I can grab one corner each and load them from here. Okay, perfect. Yeah, so I'll bring three trucks in. That way we can do three on each truck. And then... Uh, we'll probably do five on your first guy and then the remaining four on the second guy. Oh, you can do that? How many do you want on the first truck? Well, I, last time that we this had happened, he said that they had only loaded like a flat tier. As long as you chain the first layer down, when you do three, imagine this on your bed, right? Well, you could put one here and one there. Okay. So three and then maybe two nested or something like that? Okay. Well, if you only want to do three per truck, you're going to need another flatbed because you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, right? Hey, Vinny. Yeah, so we could do it with two. Did you leave second wheel yet? But all those straps ripped. Usually they stay on. The chains. The chains. <laughs> How fast was he going? On the deal time, it says 25. More like 55. Yeah. I, I think what happened, it wasn't tight. The straps were loose. Yeah. Oh, OK. Loose. Something wasn't tight. Yeah. I don't think it's the speed, because if you check. I mean... Maybe. Huh? Shoot, I can't even use my bridle grab hooks. Disperse it <laughs> double on each end. I'll do that. Let me grab one. I have one of those. Yeah? I have one. That way each grab book is only seen half of, of half. So this is what I mean. That's perfect, man. And I start with my line of action over here so it can't slip out. Alex is going to do the same. And one by one, we just load the guy up. Now, if you're wondering, we can't go here because these are just spot welds. I toyed with it with Alex on that idea, but he agrees that's just lazy and dumb, not worth the risk. You can see it right there. If I kick hard enough, I can probably get that loose. Right here is perfect. What I'll do too to compensate for him going head in and me going over the cab is once Hector's done, I'm gonna just back up. Okay. And we could probably muscle all of them over here. Dragging them over. Oh yeah. And at this point, like... All right, now Hector's gonna just take this out of the way. This company's got a lot of equipment, man. They want us to split the tractor from the trailer because they got one in route to tow the trailer away and we're gonna take that to the body shop. I'm going to back up to give him a little bit of more room. 
already got my rigging there well it's going to be nice and easy perfect you know what that's a good question where do we want them at yeah we'll shore jack so shore jack is when you uh you work with the reduced outrigger and we can get away with it because two rotators with just one pipe each at a time no weight no weight at all for us look at that perfect And then it gets easier as we remove the layers one by one. We could rotate. What we'll do is let's lift it first and align it with our booms. Cause he's gotta go back that way and so do I. Depending on where it sits, if we have to, we'll drive him forward a little bit. Then that's perfect. Let's find out. Just watch your fingers instead of putting them on the inside right there, just in case. That's pretty good, huh? Lengthwise? Yeah. Let me just put another bell. Go for it, man. You're clear. Let me close this so you have more room. <laughs> there you go. Cakewalk. I'm going to put another one on this side? Yeah. Oh. Yeah? Okay. Come on, Paul. Oh, do you just for now, so it doesn't roll. But as soon as you guys bring the other one, it's going to roll. Look, we'll do all these five right here in one shot. Come in. In the shop, say. In those jacks. Don't be jacked. And then the final ones against this fence, we'll probably reposition so we're not dragging them too far. Okay. We could probably just roll them, huh? Why <laughs> men like roll them? 
Oh, physically? I don't know. Depends. How much can you? How much can you deadlift again? Four hundred something. Four hundred five. He says he's gonna go to Rush Peterbilt. That way, huh? Take off, Hector. Yeah. Did you learn something today? Yes. <laughs> Let me get. Can I get some of that cigarette? Right here. Oh. Hey, Hector. My YouTube audience asked, "Are you ever without a cigarette?" Yeah. No, you're not. No, I never. Oh. Well, the answer is. Yeah. No, you're never without a cigarette, which means yes, you always have a cigarette. Right. You know what? As messy as this is, in a way for me, this is almost like really good. Because look, you got the curb here, and it slopes down this way, but only in the middle, where the trailer's at, it slopes down that way. So he put those barriers right there. It's going to want to stay that way, and these won't come this way. I mean, it's it's a mess, but... <sighs> Could be worse. <laughs> Strong fool. Cool. Shoot, I told a cop up to half an hour each one. We'll do like four and a half an hour, maybe five. That's fine, that's fine. Just put it. Hercules, Hercules! <laughs> Dude, if we wanted to, we could probably just roll them from there to, to here once these are out. That's video editing! Alex isn't that strong! I'll just put some tension while I wait for Alex. Nothing to it, folks. That looks great to me, man. Does he want him touching?
But before I let go of tension, you just put a little bit so it can't roll on you. Touching! You know, if you think about it, this would be so much harder with the forklift when, when it's like this. Because in order to get it, you'd have to get it at the perfect angle. Not perfectly balanced. Perfectly balanced. It's harder with it. Yeah, it's harder. How do you guys hold these up with the forklift? With the forklift. Yeah, but at a yard with. Yeah. Level ground. 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 Yeah. ground. That's how you do it. When it's scattered like this, I mean, this is so fast. Take your time, man. You want to get the drone out for this next one? The guy's going to fly it up. Did it fit there? Huh? Why you set that up? I'll mess with the drone. Okay. That way? Yeah. That's it.
Hey, go. Hey, Josh, he wants it stuck together. Touching. You can't touch any more than that. Pretty much over here. Just a little closer. See if we can roll them. Ready? Damn! Hulk power! Good. Well, that's my workout for the week. I'm gonna move my truck for this one. Okay. Once he gets out of the way, I'm pretty much gonna hug this, uh, these yellow lines. That one felt hard, huh? It popped out the end caps. Yeah. There they are over there. Stupid length. <laughs> Second and last one, guys. Hold it! Ah. Uh. 
There we go. that gap a little bit oh I forgot I can't this is the one where you see this one this one got damaged the most so it's oblong I'll keep tension on it here while they put a piece of wood right there Remember, that's the one that's all weirdly shaped, so... Is it? Both of them? Yeah, those ones got hit the worst. Okay. One more, guys, and then we're outro. Final one. Now imagine if this thing happened on the on-ramp and they all went rolling down. Stabilize a bit and then we're going to rub it up against this middle one. Presto. Good! And this is a super weird shaped one. Took a horrible beating. Awesome. Look at Alex's gang tattoos. <laughs> He's repping Jade and Zoe, they're dangerous. Jaden 13? Not a bad job guys. We'll have this guy do a quick strap, get out of here, and then Alex and I will finish cleaning all this. All this stuff. Not much of a spill. Hector did a lot of the groundwork with the dirt, so. Job all done. Hold it.
Watch your head, guys. No. A lot easier that way, but thank you, man. Thank you. I appreciate your help. Thanks, man. Be safe. Thank you. Thank you, man. Josh is just like his father. He's sleeping. Thank you, man. What is it? Yeah. Pepe. Pepe. Pepe's towing service. You'll be on it in a couple of weeks. <laughs> Peace, man. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. You guys want to clean it up? Uh, the middle part, yeah. We're just going to move all your trucks out of the way and get all those pieces of wood out of the way. Oh, well, that okay. Way they know. Yeah. Well, appreciate it, man. Thanks, man. You got your, your uh, run for your money lately, huh? With the helicopter yeah. and everything. Oh, yeah. Oh, you saw me on there? Yeah. You're going to sweep up that absorbent? You go yes. I'm just going to move out of the way real quick so we can get all the stuff that's under it. All right. Thank just let me know. Yeah. Wave at me as you go by. Give me like 10 minutes. <laughs> all right, guys. Thank you. All right, brother. Thank you. The CHP officer? He's like, hey, you've been getting a run for your money. He's like, I saw you with the helicopter. I'm like, oh, yeah. Is he there? No, I don't think he was there. He, he just watches the channel? He watches the channel or, or saw it on, on the news. Let's bone out. Hey guys, welcome back to another edition of Josh's Breakdown. I'm gonna forego the green screen today and uh, we're here in front of Alex's desk here at the shop. This giant, huge mansion of a snap-on tool chest. So I wanna address really quick the beginning. You guys saw my frustration and Hector, Mr. Yeah, I know. So what happened is he's used to us, you know, controlling the casualty, whether it be the container or the trailer with the rotators. When we bring that over, naturally attached to the fifth wheel plate, that brings over the tractor as well in one even nice motion. So he was rigged to that in the front. Well, that only works when you got two rotators controlling it. Since I was in the back spiking the rear only, it wouldn't have brought over the front. The tractor's too heavy. So since Alex showed up at that time, as you guys seen, I figured just let's put him in position already. He can spike, you know, the rear of the tractor. And from there, we can work the whole job like we did. Well, you know, it worked out great, but Hector being super old school was not paying attention too well, which is why I kind of got caught up there. Looked a little bit sloppy. I mean, um, nothing crazy. It's just wasn't to our standards. So Hector's been in the game for 30 something years. He's one of those super OG guys that can tow anything. But uh, yeah, he dropped the ball on this one a little bit. That's point one. Point two, I'll have Alex explain about the grab hook, how I mentioned that I can get away with it, side loading, um, the way we put the grab hook in the pipe like that. And I'll let Alex explain what that, what that means. Well, for the pipes, we actually used uh, what's called a bridle, which has a master link combined with two chains, two legs, and two grab hooks. So let me show you which would be this, like I said, a master link, two legs, and a grab hook. So normally um, on, on hooks, you don't wanna tip load them. So tip loading, let me demonstrate what it is. Let's take this piece of uh, aluminum flat stock. This is tip loading. So it would basically be, be the, the hook into, inserted into the flat stock and a 90 degree going directly up. Obviously that's a big no-no, but since we're only working with 4,700 pounds for that pipe, and obviously we have two of, the, of these, one side for Hulk and one side for Flipper, it's more than enough working low limit and safe and comfortable enough for, for both of us to be able to load each pipe on top of the, the flatbed. If you do the math, the regular grade 10 15 footer or grade 10 half inch chain is rated at 15,000 pounds. These pipes are 47 divided by two that's what each rotator has. And then divide that by two because there's two grab hooks. So each grab hook was only seen about 1400 pounds or so. And that's, uh, that's a risk I was willing to take. Very comfortable with such a negligible small number. Uh, the reason we also went with this option instead of our actual frame grab hooks is the length. Mine are I think 10 feet or 12 feet long. And to have two, it's just a lot of extra equipment. These are short, simple to the point. They worked great to grab it. They never slipped out once. That's why I kept all nine of them in so you guys can see how much of an efficient job it was. And this has a working load limit of 26,000 pounds, so way over than uh, the, the capabilities of that, of this, uh, of holding the pipe up. And as you guys will see before someone says in the comments, we should have brought a forklift. On these ones, no. When there are these big, huge pipes like that, 
the guys even mentioned themselves that a forklift would not be good here because they do those in the yard and they're hard to do. You got to nail the balance 100% perfect on that and you need a ton of room because you got to get in front of it, pick it up, then back up and turn. Now imagine doing that on scene here with nine pipes all over and slopes in each direction and that big center div uh, divider. Wouldn't work here. So the rotator, I thought, I told the cop, 90 minutes to two hours, we crushed that time. I thought it was going to take a lot longer, but once we put the grab hooks in, we go up and put them on the bed. The guy secures it and we're already hooking up to the next one. It helps that Alex and I are in sync. We just already know when to go up at the same time, rotate, keep it balanced, make sure our lines of action don't slip out. So it made it for a really nice smooth job, much faster. We got the freeway open. This is uh, the 103 at Long Beach? At uh, PCH. At PCH, yes. At PCH. So this is a hot spot for truckers going to and from leaving the ports. You saw the containers that I highlighted earlier. I call it Container City, one of the busiest ports in the world. Keeps us very busy. Initially, we thought that speed was a factor, uh, but it actually wasn't. They checked the, the GPS on the truck and he was actually going, what, 20, 25 miles per 20, hour? said 20 something. So we suspected that one of the straps were, or both, all the straps were actually were not secure properly, which allowed the pipes to shift and just took it over. So when you have nine of those of those pipes and it shifts all that weight to one side, especially on that bank, it'll just take it over, even if the, the driver was being very, very careful. And which, he which was, was also stacked three high. So he had all nine of those that we dispersed over three trailers. He had them all on one, which I'm sure is rated for. He could probably do 45,000 easily dispersed like that. But when it comes to that, you got to strap each layer precise. And that's a, a pretty brutal of a turn. So gravity gives way when there's just a little bit of leeway in the straps always secure your loads i bring it up all the time and i hope you guys noticed alex's new uh uniform in the beginning there the pepis tank top no i didn't add any muscle or steroids here in photoshop that's all real so that tank top is now available on the website i put it into a hat i wore it on the last breakdown and i got a super cool shirt in the works for you guys based on that excavator job a lot of people were recommending it so stay tuned to the next video and by then it should be out I'm going to be doing these breakdowns in different environments just because, you know, it gets kind of boring. Just you guys already know what my office looks like. Maybe the next one could be my dad's office, maybe in front of the trucks or in front of the famous Sixth Street Bridge. Who knows? But um, yeah, lots of possibilities with this. You guys are loving the feedback on this breakdown stuff. So we'll keep them coming, have more guests come along. Well, as long as you guys keep watching, we'll keep making them. With that said, peace out. Don't forget to subscribe.